they normally say put your money where your mouth is and now we've decided now we're putting our money as NHFC to make sure that um, we do actually make a difference especially for the segment of the market that currently is not adequately served by the private market and that is really the agenda of the NHFC if you were to ask me to sum it up our job here is really to make um, the affordable housing market to be accessible and to be affordable for those people who have an income, maybe not great enough for them to be able to meet their needs in a private market, but do need some kind of facilitation to be where they are at. In fact, part of our agenda as NHFC is really to unlock this market so that in the main it may be served by the private market. Because if we can do that, we can achieve that objective. We'll save government a lot of its own resources, which are being used to try and subsidize here and there. Because what we do, we are actually offloading this segment of the market so that the private sector can actually meet that, um, that market on a sustainable basis. Through this initiative, we see ourselves really making uh, housing available or accessible to this segment of the market. But appropriate housing and also secure housing and we see that being made available at scale because it is scale that we're looking for. NHFC's funding on its own is not able to make a difference in this market. Sula spoke about six, uh, 600,000 housing shortages but it's a moving target. I think when we did the study earlier it was 600,000 but now we could be talking between 700 and 800,000. So it's a, it's a moving target, especially with the rapid urbanization taking place and people, actually the influx of people moving even across the border into a country, especially at that tier income levels that we are actually looking at. And so that's why for us, we have acknowledged as a government entity that scale does not belong to government. We don't have the infrastructure, we don't have the deep pockets. Actually scale in this segment of the market belongs to the private market. And that's why part of our strategy is how much can we leverage the private sector funding to a greater extent so that you may have scale. This is not routine, um, this opportunity. We do a lot of repeat and fairly routine business. And it's fun when we do something different. And IHS uh, fund too is different. Um, uh, so it's kind of exciting for us to be here. It's different in the way it's uh, the fund serves a segment of the market that most other financial institutions ignore or are too afraid to go into and that's the kind of innovation that IFC is always looking to support um, <coughs> it's fun for the reasons that Samson just mentioned in that we will achieve our developmental objectives and, you know, creating housing first and foremost for a, a market that is really starving for it, creating jobs, creating economic growth, and because you've proved it, actually making uh, a return, a really interesting return from, from the enterprise. So that's the kind of opportunity that is music to our ears.